Many people in North America view the common carp as the armpit of the fish universe. But I got crazy news for ya. They're actually pretty sweet. Yo, this is the Coke Machine coming to you from my John. We're about to head out on a fishing adventure downtown over front. Basically just gonna go straight downtown, drop a worm in the first piece of water I see. If I catch something, I catch something. If I don't, I don't. I anticipate catching shit all. Alright, Coke Machine here. Here I am down in the harbor. I went straight down from Trinity Bellwoods Park. Looks to me like there's lots of weeds here. I'm gonna drop some worms down here. Hopefully it's gonna work out. So as you can see, there's the amphitheater over there. Here's the area I'm fishing. I've never seen anybody fishing here, so let's see if we can catch them in the chair there. Holy shit. Coke machine for real fishing. I think I just caught the biggest fucking carp I've ever seen in my fucking life. I saw it going towards the lure, or my worm, and I was like, holy shit, that's a huge fish. Please do not eat my worm. Please. And now I got it hooked, and I'm trying to reel it in. <laughs> shit. After a series of stooge-like events, the beast was eventually brought to shore. Yeah! These events include... 1. The debate and eventual recognition that the fish was bigger than the net. 2. The bending of the landing net pole on fish landing attempt number 1. 3. Mild to moderate partially involuntary soiling of the shorts. Holy shit, this is the coke machine calling. Man, my hands are still shaking. That was the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. That must have been about a 30 pound carp. Nice try, Coke machine. It was more like a million pounds. Wow. It's like he went for my worm. I was like, nah, he's not gonna go for the worm. Sure enough, he went for the friggin' worm. <sighs> I just had the worm there on a Lindy rig with a, a fluorescent green float. Check this rig. Ultra juicy night crawler, top hat style. Number six, circle hook. Fluorescent green rig float. Snagless sinker. 30 pound main line with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader for submarine transparency. Rig it. Coke machine again. All right, so I decided to drop another worm. So far, my hands are still shaking from that massive carp. Got my line in again, but I really wish I had somebody here to videotape it if it happens again, because that would, would have been something. Because just seeing that thing ride in the water was blowing my mind. Uh, all right, hopefully you catch another one. Updates later, check out. The rest of the carp in the area seem to be spooked by the commotion of landing the first fish. Plus, I believe the big old carp made a solid effort to piss some kind of alarm hormone into the water. Two weeks later, same spot, different shit. I hope so. Can you get the net too, Hook? All right. Recognizing the stoogery that is inevitably linked to the simultaneous operation of the landing net and the video camera, the coke machine enlists the help of an interested bystander. I suppose you want to help me land this guy, eh? I don't know. It like folds up. So it can snap right out. There we go. Okay, you call the shots. It's your baby. Okay, well, he's pretty tired, so... Come here. Come here. Oh, <laughs> Thought you had him? Jeez. There you go! Look at that, baby! Oh. Yeah! Smallmouth bass style! For real! Fucking rigs! Ultra stealth style! Clear plastic bobber! Fish think they can see shit, but they can't see shit. Four foot fluorocarbon leader for submarine transparency. Circle hook slash juicy worm. To achieve max stealth, I used absolutely no sinkers. And the shit panned out. Who knew? Rig it.